Ruby home for the night? Is this home for the night, Ruby? Huh? Welcome uh, to our camping edition. Uh, we've seen a lot of touring around lately and looking for spots. We have we know the spot from summertime. We're out at the Trans Alta area once again. Uh, we're going to show you where we camp, how we set up stuff. we got some product review. Uh, not all of it will be on this video, but uh, we'll show you what we got set up and then one day we'll go through on each video to uh, show a better uh, understanding of the equipment. So uh, this is where we're at. If you look around, it's just absolutely gorgeous here. And we also brought our camp dog, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Going up into the tent. We've got two minus 37 sleeping bags up here. I'm sure we will be warm tonight. Okay, so we bought this new table. We're gonna try it out. It's Kuma Outdoor here. It's called the Big Bear Table. We're gonna see how easy it is to set up. And uh, they're not sponsored. We're not sponsored by them or anything. So we're just gonna set it up and we buy everything ourselves. Uh, none of it's given to us. So our review is just from our personal opinions and nobody else's. That's all you do is put it on. Pin it. spot to do it in. Uh, looks like a good material. Pretty strong. I don't know how long these things are going to last or pins, but we'll try it out. There's nothing more important than a table though. My company Outland. Uh, the make is Firebolt. We absolutely love this product. I recommend this to anybody. Uh, we don't have to worry about, you know, at night whether your fire's out or not. We just turn it off, let it cool down, put the lid on it, and you're good to go. And it's always there ready for you. You don't have to use any wood. You don't have to get rid of any ash. We just find it way, way better, user-friendly too. And uh, like I said, we use it at home, outside in our uh, driveway sometimes. Just yep. It's that portable and it's lightweight. It doesn't take up that much space but mm -hmm. uh, excellent product. And we usually bring like a 20 pound propane bottle. It loves the propane, so. I like it because I don't like smelling like smoke all the time. 
Uh, I think that's the worst when you're camping. You don't have, maybe don't have shower facilities around and uh, you smell like uh, smoke when you're having fires. I mean, not to say that that's a bad thing, but uh, just not having a shower and, and uh, smelling like smoke is sometimes uh, irritating. Yes, it is. But uh, yeah, no, I love it. I definitely recommend one of these. I'd buy another one uh, in the future if need be. We have to test it, try it out. And so far this one gives uh, double 10 out of up. 10, yeah, right? It's excellent. I have yeah. no issues. Perfect. Okay, so we're camping in February here and uh, we need heat. We're in a rooftop tent. Uh, what I've done is I've uh, built this myself. It's a diesel heater. There's a lot of these on online and how to do it and I decided to do it myself. And I'm going to change the design later in the future. I just find it too awkward. I want to have a trail rack system. Uh, Trail Racks is a company that, you know, hopefully in the future I could work uh, something out with them. But I definitely would like to try one of their uh, JK mounts and then get a diesel container and have this mounted on the side where I don't have to worry about it. You know, it just comes up, you hook it in place and away you go. But anyways, it's got a diesel tank just like uh, they show you online. I mean, I bought this kit at uh, Princess Auto and... Uh, Gonna be hard to do because I got everything strapped here, but we'll just unstrap it for now. I know everybody always asks about it, but this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the actual diesel heater. This is the heat that goes up to our tent. This is the inlet, so you bring fresh air in, and it's 100%. You have no uh, carbon possible because all the burning gets done in the chamber here. Got a fuel filter. I got a pet cock on here to shut off the fuel if anything happens. Once again, I want to change that out where I have it externally so I don't have to open this if there's ever an issue. Uh, I can shut it off externally. I put a little heat shield in here to stay away. Um, and I made this little plate for it just off some L brackets. A filter intake so that also uh, takes uh, the filtered air in to the combustion area. So not getting dirt where the chamber is burning. So, yeah, it's a very, this one I think is about a 2,500 watt or it could be a 1,500 watt. I would have to take a look, but. Looks like daddy's science project. Yeah, I, I just wish I would have done it better because putting it all together in a kit like this, it sounds great and it sounds small, but it's just heavy and awkward. And I personally would do things way different in the future. I would, uh, like I said, with the trail rocks, I'd put some, these boxes actually come with hooks on them now where you can fasten it into a tray and lock it in there. It's okay. We are done. How would you rate it? What do you think with heat? Oh, it What's gets it warm like? in that tent for sure. We're gonna try it again tonight and hopefully that uh, we get enough warmth up there, which I'm sure we do. We have like minus 37 sleeping bags, so I ain't worried about it. I put off a lot of heat and uh, yeah, it'll be good. We have a thermostat upstairs, so it'll monitor heat. I usually just put it at full and we don't run it all the time. We just run it when we need it or as we need it if we're getting up in the morning. It's always nice to get in out of bed in a nice warm tent, get dressed and out you go. Uh, there's also a power cord that goes up there. I got my Delta power source and we'll go over the Delta some other time. Right now we have it all connected. So in order to do the right review, I'd like to have that one outside of the tent, but uh, that's at a later date. We'll do a review on that one. I got some Renogy solar panels I'd like to go over later on, uh, another video. And once again, all the stuff that we've purchased is out of our, our pocket. None of it's been uh, sponsored by anybody. So all out of pocket. Uh, but this sort of stuff, I like doing the uh, projects in the garage and see how they work. This one, I don't know, it, it'll work, but it's just not the way I want it. I'd rather have it so that everything's accessible on the outside and it's very easy to install set up on this you know you gotta bungee it off so it doesn't fall off these tubes are you know they're kind of flimsy and flaky but if i had it up here i just need a short little hose and that's all you need everything contained on the vehicle and then when you're ready to go just take it off unplug everything and away you go some quick connects you can make you can engineer this thing to death but you know my opinion i loved it <coughs> be extremely warm in a very cold situation so uh I, I get cold easy and it warmed me quite nicely. This is the diesel heater. It's going to just start up right now. I 
kick out some exhaust here shortly. I don't have it on high, but once I get up there, I just wanted to make sure that it's not leaking anymore. Always important to check. Just to make sure. It's been sitting a whole season in my garage, so. And all that exhaust is going to point out here anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. We got a carbon monoxide detector on top of the tent there, so. So I'm going to go over our rooftop tent that we have. It's uh, by Tapui. Um, it's uh, the Atuna 3, I believe it is. It's a three-man tent, which has lots of room for uh, Colleen and myself, and we even put Ruby up there. It's a challenge getting a dog into a rooftop tent, but what I usually do is lift her up onto the roof here, and then uh, we put a, a mat out here, and then I bring her through the front. This way I don't have to try and manage her up through a ladder, because. You know, I don't want to fall with her and vice versa. She doesn't want to have that experience as well. Otherwise, she'd never go up in there. But usually what we do is we'll put out all the the windows and stuff like that. But it was really, really windy. And, you know, at night when it gets really windy out, you hear that everything, right? Everything rattles, you know, and then it kind of keeps you awake. Right now the wind has died down. So I might open those up later, but you have entrances on both ends. We'll take you to the back there. I know Colleen's already gone through the interior and how she uh, put the uh, blankets and bedding together. Uh, later tonight, I put some lights in there. I carry my um, uh, solar generator or my power source up in my tent so I can turn on outside lights if I need them. If there's any bumps in the night, I can turn those on and flood the whole back here. Also, I have my remote starter. I can put the horn on if I need any uh, buddy to be aware of anything or scare off an animal. We're in bear country, so we have to be aware of all that stuff. Anyways, the uh, Tapui tent, if it was me, they're a great tent. There's nothing wrong with the make of them. They're really great. They're, they stand up to the test of time and the weather. I would probably go with the hard top next time, just because it is just my wife and I, and fold it up nicely. It's just quieter. What do you think about traveling with it? How is it traveling with it? <clears throat> well, it's like the rest of the Jeep. It's a big wind dam. It slows everything down. And uh, I think if you go to the hard top, it's just more aerodynamic. Uh, there's there's lots of makes out there. So okay. one day when we have the money again, we'll probably do that. But that alone is probably about 4,000 bucks Canadian. So that's at the time that we purchased it anyways. So everything expensive, right? Anything overlanding is expensive, but got to start off small. You know, get a good tent. Because if you get some cheap tent, you're gonna be disappointed and you'll never do it again. Absolutely. A lot of people complain about going up ladders and stuff like that. Well, I've been going my whole life, so I'm not too worried about it. My wife, she's okay with it. She's small and nimble. She can jump into anything there, so. But fell three times, right? I'm nimble. Yeah, but that's, nimble. On, that's on flat ground. <laughs> okay, so just going up inside the tent now. Um, as you can see, it's quite roomy. We've got lights up here. Um, Paul doesn't have the window set up as he was talking about that outside. Too much wind earlier today. I have it set up where our heads are at the end with our pillows. We purchased these sleeping bags from Cabela's. We got two of those. And then, uh, you know, just to make it like home, you usually bring blankets along, other blankets. So we've got a good... Uh, Two layers of minus 37. We've got pads underneath. Um, yeah, and then we have mattresses that we had. Um, we've got two of them, actually. But we had mattresses that were custom made. Um, Paul, do you remember where they were? I don't know the company name that we... Some uh, foam. Uh, yeah, I don't know the name of the company. But this guy, he actually cut all the foam for us and then uh, stitched um, coverings for them. So the coverings actually zip off and uh, so that you can, um, you can wash them. So I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, so this is the inside. Like I said, very roomy, not claustrophobic at all. It, uh, it gives, gives great length. Um, pro I, I'd say you're probably close to, to eight. Paul's off flying his drone over there. I'm sitting enjoying the sun with my Rosie. Hi, Rose. See you later. Oh, yeah.
Paul's got the burgers. Well, no, I don't have the burgers on yet. Hasn't got the burgers on yet, but has the barbecue lit and is going to have the burgers on. It's cooling down quite quickly and drastically in this climate. The barbecue's <laughs> lit and so am I because I had a couple of nice warm bevies. Yeah. I tell you. That's what you need out here. I know it uh, leads to hypothermia, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> stage. I'd much rather be drunk and cold than well, I'm not sober. Drunk. I'm definitely not drunk and cold. <laughs> I just got a nice warm feeling. Yeah. I think that's what you need when you're outside. And I've got a cold feeling. I'm freezing.